That's how the magic happens. And that's literally the magic. Second video ever. Hello. Yeah. Second video being recorded. We, uh, fuck, we finally decided to start recording these things. what we're drinking, by the way, 40 Creek. Hopefully this works. If not, it's if not, people are gonna go. Why are you guys talking about second? (laughs) Yeah. Oh man. Oh, listen. That is dark. Not really. It is. Is it? It is. Certainly is. I'm making a mess. It looks like I am. I was trying to be too gentle. Too gentle. It's dark like the copper pot. I'm telling you. Well, it does say copper pot. Uh. Aged in oak and crafted something. I missed it. Aged in oak and crafted for bold, full body flavor. It smells really nice. So what is it? It's the Forty Creek this Copper is 40 Pot. Forty Creek Copper Pot Reserve. This is the fancy schmancy one. I'm into it. It doesn't say if it's rye or not. I will quickly G O O G L E that for the listeners at home. Yeah, yeah. Because I am too curious. That's a. Wow, that's really sweet. Is it? Yeah, I haven't tried it. Like really sweet. Holy shit. Oh, I got to try this. Wow. Bit this is burn. rye. This is rye and corn. Yeah. OK, that's what I thought. Uh, where do you put the ice thing? Do, uh, should we, the f- do we need the lid? No, probably not. No, it'll be fine. I think it's fine. It's in a Yeti. Cheers. Cheers, man. Burn's gone now after I sat on the ice for a bit, but mine had a bit of a burn off the off the first sip. Again, when you put ice in it though, isn't it? I forget what it is. Like the alcohol separates, so like everything goes up top. That one went down the wrong pipe. Did it? Yeah. Went down the long pipe. (laughs) (laughs) It was a spicy one. Yeah. It it it's got a bit of a nip to it. Yo, put that shit like right here in front of the mic. Yeah. Yeah. So people know what we have. Nice. That's really loud on the mic. Yes, it is. That was really dumb. <laughs> <laughs> the reason we have the towel. Oh, last week um, I said I would look up what alcohol proof is. Okay. And what? Sour, and you figured it out. What makes sour mash? So what? Sour- that's okay. That's the proof. Sour mash. No, I at, we spoke about sour mash because we had Tennessee whiskey. Oh, we, we did. Can. Uh, you can tell how good my memory is. Did you get further? Did you drink the whole bottle after I left? I, I might have. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking on the bottle of uh, Jack Jack Daniels. It says sour mash. And we're like, what is sour mash? I'm like, I don't know. I'll look it up. I got a short term memory loss. I'm uh, pretty sure. It's long term now. <laughs> Actually, no, that's Monday. <laughs> it's Friday now. Uh, sour mash is a process used in the distilling industry. It uses material from an old batch to make a new batch, basically. Oh, okay. So they don't it's like throw, leftovers. They don't throw everything out. They continue to use a little bit makes to sense. start the process. Yeah, it makes sense. Kind of make the, the beginning of the process a lot smoother. I guess. Easier. You would think so. It could also just be like, ah, this didn't get bottled. Let's not make it go to waste. And then it's like 200 years later, they're like, it still works. It still works. <laughs> <laughs> it's still going. It's still good. There's probably our first bottle still in our last bottle. Who knows? That's, yeah, that's kind of cool, though. So then, what is proof? OK, so alcohol proof is just another way of saying uh, percentage, apparently. OK, it's more of an American thing. OK. Alcohol proof is a measure of the content of ethanol in an alcoholic beverage. The term was used originally in England and was equal to about one point eight to one times the percentage of alcohol by volume, which is the ABV. Uh, so is it mo- the UK uses the ABV standard instead of alcohol proof in the United States? The alcohol proof is defined as twice the percentage as ABV. So if you have um, a 40 percent alcohol, it's, it's 80. Proof, OK, which makes sense for that, ter- that uh, wild turkey. So the 101, yeah, 101 is like close to 50 percent. Well, it would be like almost 52. Yeah. 50.1. Wait, 50. Yeah, 50. sorry. <laughs> That's how good my math yeah, is. You're not 101, it's 52%. So Chris. I think the higher the proof, the higher the booze, which explains 151 rum. Yeah. Which is psychotically high. High. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had a shot of 151? No. It's just fire. I would imagine it we just had. It burns all the way down. We not had, in a good way. We had 70% rum that was from Cuba. Did it burn? Ass. Tasted like. Yeah. 
ass. But I've had stuff that's like 70%. Yeah. And it doesn't taste bad. No. It's warm afterwards, but it doesn't burn all the way down. Oh, this shit was fucking like, terrible. You couldn't even mix it with Coke. No. Coke ain't. Coke didn't even fucking kill it. It's because you were snorting it, not drinking it. Send this thing flying. What are you going to kick over? My water. I just didn't want this fucking big ass thing on the table. Yeah. Ah, right, whatever. So how's, how's your what, four days been since the last one? It's the end of the week. Yeah. I went for my... Uh, That's really tasty, I though. went for my restricted gun license during the week. How'd that go? I passed. It, was it all online? It was in class. Really? Yeah, it was cool. Because okay. there's a there's a mandatory practical part. Okay. That so makes in sense. a couple months after the paperwork and applications go in, hopefully I get upgraded, but we'll see. Passed? Obviously. I passed everything, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. It's, it's easy. Nice. It's so what was it? Two days? One day. One day? Nice. Yeah. I was there from eight to three. Well, I guess you're only doing the restricted part. Because you already have part. your gun license and hunting license. Yeah. That was the last thing. Because that's the reason the other ones are like two days, right? Like if I were to go, because I got to do well, it's gun license, every hunting day is a license. Course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So what I would recommend for you is if you're going to go and get your gun license is just do gun license and restricted the next day because yeah. it's the same application. Okay. So for me, I have to resubmit my gun. You gotta redo it's every, as if I got yeah. a, it's as if I'm sitting, submitting the application from scratch. That sucks. Um, it should go fine because I have a restricted and all that stuff. You're already on file. Already being watched by the government. Yeah. We all are. It's okay. Yeah, and it doesn't help that we're putting ourselves out there either. I'm already out there. Who gives, who gives a fuck at this point? Yeah, I know. And uh, fuck, you walk down the street, you've been like downtown Toronto. The amount of times your image is taken is absurd. Yeah. It's crazy. And uh, yeah, so the gun license is the shortest of the of all the licenses, the restricted one. But I still got to go through the whole process. Yeah. I'm not even planning on really getting anything with it's the restricted license. It's just nice license. to have. It, exactly. It just, then it's, like if you're gonna then do I have it, everything. Do it. And then if one day down the road they decide to cancel it, at least I have it and then I'll be grandfathered in. Fuck, or maybe, like that. maybe you find some crazy cool thing, but. Whatever. Yeah. You're like, I really want this. But I, I didn't a, get it with the intention. It's a wall piece. Yeah. Like it's not even like workable, but to have it. You need a certain You license. need your license. Yeah. It's like, well, fuck, I kind of wish. Yeah, the like I said, I wasn't. I don't even have anything I want to buy with it. It's mm-hmm. just just to have, and then I'm done everything, and then I don't have to worry about it anymore. Yeah. And it was always my intention after I got my first license, however many years ago, and now I just finally came around to it. So nice. That's the only thing I've done this week, other than work my ass off. Fuck, I've been work uh, my ass off is a bit of a stretch, <laughs> but I was working. <laughs> you went to work. I worked hard, but I didn't work my ass off. Yeah, there say. you go. Yeah. That's good though. Mm-hmm. That's that's exciting. Mm-hmm. When uh when will you go hunting next? Spring? Yeah, next month this month, end of the month turkey start. Really? Yeah? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Get a yeah. little turkey for Easter? I hope so. Her- turkey's e- uh Easter's early this year. Turkey's early. When? When's Easter? Easter's the first weekend of April this year. Holy shit. It's very early. Damn. It's something I always lose track of that one. Because that one's it just hard to track. sneaks up. It's like, oh, Easter's next weekend. It's because it's not always the same weekend. Yeah. It's based on the moon cycle. Sounds complicated. Very. That's why I just, <laughs> that's why I just look at a calendar. Yeah. And then oh, I'm like, there Easter it is. is this weekend this there year. It is. And then I'll look at a calendar next year and be like, it's this weekend this year. <laughs> I'm not tracking the moon cycles. No. Not at all. Oh, well, damn. And I forget what, how it is. It's like, I'm not even going to look it up because I don't care. You're not even going to dive into it? No. <laughs> But again, it's another one of those holidays that was placed because the pagans had that holiday. So now, it's part of the spring equinox. So where do you go to get your tags? Just can buy you, them online. You can do it online? Right online, yeah. And how many turkeys will you be limited to? Two. Two? Now, will it, I take it Antonia is not going? No. Too cold. Too She's cold and pregnant. Almost eight months She'll pregnant. be fucking yeah. <laughs> ready to pop almost at that point. Yeah, she'll be down to the last month. Yeah. That's but I'm only going to go if I've heard rumors that there's uh, farms up by me that allow people to go and use their property. Really? I'm not going to go far because. It's not worth it. Well, that. Stay close. Also, the property I was going to, the place I was going to go up by my dad's, that part of land got sold. So now it's private. Huh. Nice. Um, And I just, I don't want to do the footwork up there. And I know there's a ton up by me, but I'd rather. Stay close to home just with the pregnancy. You and probably stuff. find something up in like horseshoe area too. 
Probably, but at least by me, like these farms are like five minutes away. Yeah, minutes yeah, away. yeah, yeah. I'm just so saying, like, if you couldn't, yeah, you could probably find. I just want to stay somewhat close due to the whole baby thing, uh, especially yeah, as it gets yeah, closer because you. you never know what happens, right? Exactly. Yeah. So, and no, and that's good. if I and if I can't find a place to go, I just won't turkey hunt this spring, but I'll go to deer in the fall. I was gonna say, so once the deer's only in the fall, yeah. Will you ever go for moose? Maybe once you maybe, get a couple things under your belt. The, yeah, maybe down the road. But it's expensive to go for moose. Is it? Yeah, you got to go. How much is a tag? A, oh, the a tags deer. aren't expensive. Tags are cheap. Okay. It's um, for butchering? No, it's not even that. It's like for me, because I don't have a hunting party to go with. Right. I would have to go to like some lodge way up like North Bay. I could get a moose. But I got to do the foot. The you got to fucking North Bay. Yeah, I got to pay for the lodging and stuff like that, which is fine. It's just like looking at it as like a week away as a, if you would go south f- for a week. It might cost you the same to do that going north in the cold. Now, will they have like people there to help you get shit out? Yes. If you do it through a lodge or some sort of hunt camp. OK. Yeah. So that's the next question. Because I don't have a tractor with me. Those things are like thousand. Pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of weight. My parents' neighbor got one last year. Jesus. The thing was absurd. They're so big. Massive animals. Yeah, I've never seen one in the flesh. And the fact that they're so quiet is crazy. You would think they would just like be like barreling through, but they make no noise. No, because they're prey. It's crazy. Yeah, the watching the deer in this in the fall time, I think I told you that I saw I saw three. Yeah. But they can take off at a full at a full clip through the woods leaves on the ground sticks everywhere yeah and you never hear them that's i don't even understand no i i definitely don't something to do with hooves i bet that'd be my guess <laughs> but is, is there antlers too like how do they fucking navigate through like because a lot it's of the times they're in some dense shit yeah it's just their world well, like why how do you not get stuck i don't know <laughs> <laughs> like you know like or yeah. knock down a small tree or a dead tree for that matter I feel like you're that big. You shouldn't be that quiet. Oh, uh, my! When I did get my hunting course four or five years, four years ago, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, the instructor said that he's like the only time you know that a moose is close is when it's in like within like a hundred feet. Otherwise, you don't hear them. Yeah. He's like, and generally the way that you know is because it'll step on a log that's like six inches diameter and snap it, which nothing else would do that. Yeah, which is. Like it kind of made like the hair on my back. And, neck stand and a up. lot of the time they're, like, they're not think about. like chicken shits either. No, they will kill you. Yeah. They will charge your ass down. Yeah. You like we, when we were at my grandparents. Because the, I think, believe the females get a rack at some point too. I don't know. And they will fuck you up. They'll, have, they'll, they I think calves. they'll just fuck you up. Like a lot of the times they the will probably run, but. They're not scared that they feel threatened. They're no. They're coming. Yeah. And, and that's they're large. Bigger and they're than not horse. slow either. They're fast as fuck. Because yeah. they gotta outrun wolves and coyotes and <laughs> yeah, stuff. Yeah, man. Wolves and bears is actually their prey. Yeah. Their predators. But uh yeah, when we were at my grandparents, because they had a shit ton of land up in New Brunswick and they got a logging trail there, like through the property. I'm sure they're just all over there. Well, we were always told like if you if you see a moose, like one don't keep going. No. But you don't want to, like, if you turn around, you better be hauling ass. That's the only time you turn around. And just, like, don't walk, just stop to look it. back. Yeah. yeah. Just keep eyes on it. Yeah. And hopefully it just put, put goes it, the other way. Usually put it in neutral so it kind of just, the ATVs just chill or if you're in the car, just mm-hmm. chill, relax, don't do anything. Yeah. Just, and just, just let them be. Just zen. Just, just zen it let out. Let them be. My, don't uh, freak them out. My dad and brother were out, I think it was in the summer, and they were going, and a cub ran across the uh, the trail. A cub of a bear? A bear cub, yeah. Yeah, I've seen and that That's scary, before. because where there's a bear cub- There's a mom. There's a mama close. bear somewhere, and that mama bear doesn't fuck around. No. Not interested in fucking around yeah. a little bit. They, they didn't see anything from it after, like even on their way back. Yeah. But- the first bear I ever saw in my life and only bear I'd seen in life for a long time after that was a bear cub. Ran right across the road in front of us in our car. Mm-hmm. We stopped. We waited. 
looked through the woods that were in the car. We weren't too, we didn't jump out looking for it because we knew no, the mum was no, somewhere that's nearby. Kind of smart. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't go chasing it. <laughs> you didn't want to it. chase it down? No. Come here, cub. Yeah. Not happening. Hey, bear. <laughs> so we stopped, like, we're looking around and just waited for a few minutes and then nothing. It was just, yeah. Just move along. And then I didn't, I don't think I saw another one for 10 plus years after that. I saw one last summer on a golf course, like not far from me. Yeah. And it was, it was terrifying to watch because it was hauling ass. It was going the opposite direction, which was also nice because obviously if it's coming towards you, it'd be even scarier, Mm -hmm. but it came out of the woods and it was moving, just running as fast as it could. And it was hauling ass down the fairway and there was people on that fairway. So I can't imagine look, and it was a fucking big black bear. That so I can't imagine scary. just seeing a black bear running at you full yeah, speed. I'm, yeah, I, I got a fucking iron out, probably in a pitching wedge to be. You just got to go, hey, hey. I'm like, ready to club that motherfucker in yeah, the head. And she had cubs on that course too. Yikes. Yeah. What'd there they was do? A, they just let her, like she just ran past? Yeah, she, there was no incident. Okay. That, but she just took off and I guess she was going from one set of woods to the other. Yeah, so and that was her path. <laughs> she went fast yeah. <laughs> yeah it was uh apparently there was a couple people that were like charged by her earlier in the year really when she had her cubs with her i oh, think yeah. she did still have them but if i'm her i charge them use, too yeah get the fuck out of here they, yeah. just, they don't, just don't know right yeah it's freaky that's crazy well when we were on uh st andrews that coyote fucking what 20 feet in front of us ran across the uh t-blocks yeah literally right beside us didn't give a shit. Nope. I've seen two. I've seen a big one on that course too. Yeah. That one of the guys right. I golf with almost hit with his golf ball. Like he, oh, Jesus. he, it was right by where my old town home was, where that crossover hole is. Really? Right there. So shit. he hit, he hit his, uh, his shot off the tee and then the thing came trotting out right across and the that ball point. landed like three feet from the thing. And I guess the noise scared it and it just, just took off. Darted out. Gone. Fuck. Yeah. But it was big. That's scary. It was really big. Yeah. It was like the size of a German Shepherd and it wasn't a wolf. It was a coyote. Fuck. It was maybe not a German Shepherd, but maybe like a lab. It was fucking like probably they're, 60 yeah, pounds. They're not small, man. We no. saw we saw one over by Most of the ones Audrey's I've seen place. have been pretty small, but they can get oh, scary. We saw one over by Audrey's place. This thing was tall, man. Like the back had to be up to the table. Like, but like not a lot of meat. Like it wasn't like thick. Mm-hmm. It was just tall, like almost lanky. But it was just trotting through the streets. And you fucking own, own the fucking neighborhood. I'm like, Jesus. I'm like, tell your mom, make sure the cows are in the house. I saw a mountain lion. Jesus. In my life. And you know where I saw it? No. On a residential street in Los Angeles, California. That is scary. It's it was, hunting for them dogs. It was crazy. It was, it was a baby. Baby. It was big though. Yeah. It was so surreal. So we were waiting, we were waiting for a new, and my sister lives like 15 minute walk from Dodger Stadium. Yeah. And this is downtown LA. This is a residential area. And we're standing outside her place waiting for an Uber. And it's me and Antonia we're waiting. And then I see this thing come down a tree and it was too big to be like a raccoon mm-hmm. and too big to be anything I'd ever seen come out of a tree before. And it was just like a right, it wasn't a giant tree either. Yeah. It was just like a tree on the sidewalk. I see this thing come down. I'm like, is that a dog? Like, what the fuck is this thing? It was as big as a German Shepherd for sure. Yeah. Bigger. And I couldn't figure out what it was until it came down the tree. It did a, it had a long tail. It stopped. It sat down and then scratched and it scratched just like a cat. And then it stood up and started walking. I could tell by its tail and, and its coloring and stuff. It just, I'd never seen one in the wild. So like wild. That's not the, that wasn't the woods. Like, no, I just never seen one before. So like, I'm trying to like, Think of like what would be in this environment, dogs, cats, raccoons, squirrels. Mm-hmm. And I'm like going through my mind, like checking all the boxes, but like immediately right away, yeah. I probably knew it was a cat, but it just didn't make any sense. And then it went up and then give a little scratch and started trotting up this alleyway. And then the Uber pulled up. I'm like, fucking sh- shoot Give up. me I the wanna, fuck I in wanna, there. No, I want to go and see it. Oh shit. And then it was, it, it was, was gone. gone, but I'm like, holy fuck. Dude, people lose their pets constantly out there just from mountain coyotes lines and mountain lions coming in and scooping yeah. them up it was a lot but i didn't That's think crazy. they were like i knew that they were in the city but like 
you go to Griffith Park and stuff like that, like where the observatory is. And we've walked around up there and I know they're up there because that's like sort of the hills and stuff. So it makes sense. Yeah. Like, there's lots of things. The amount of there. rattlesnakes up there too is nuts. I haven't seen any snakes when I've been there, thankfully. Uh, but usually we go when it's like January. So it's a bit cold, cooler. You know, uh, so they're probably less active. But mm-hmm. I know in the summertime, they're ready to run. Yeah, you know Brendan Schaub? Yeah, I don't know him. No, no, you, you know of him. That's <laughs> yes, what I meant. Yeah. He, uh, for a long time, he was posting like. All right. And we're back. Uh, probably clap. Oh, yeah. Here. We're back with uh, technical difficulties. Yeah, that's my out bad. Of the way. We changed the setup. I unplugged the laptop and completely forgot to plug it back in. And, and so it died halfway through. Yeah. And so we were talking about rattlesnakes in California. You said that a guy that you. you yeah. Know, Brendan Schaub. He was. Uh, yeah. He was, or a guy that you like. Bike riding. Yeah. I follow him on social media and stuff. Uh, but yeah, he was. He would go hiking or bike riding on these trails and people would be running headphones in. They'd be like, hey, guys, like there's you're like running towards a rattlesnake. I just saw it. Just keep an I eye out. I would be happy to know that. Yeah, me too, right? Yeah. Like, thanks, bro, because I don't want to get bit. And usually, you're out there. Often there's, you're not, and you're jogging. You're not paying attention. Dude, and there's no way you're getting out of there unless you're with somebody or you're quick on your phone. Mm-hmm. And that shit happens so fast. Yeah. It doesn't take long for you to die. The thing is, though, about rattlesnakes, though, apparently, is they are not that likely to bite you unless, like, it's a very extreme circumstance. Like, if, you, if you're running mm-hmm. by them, they're not going to, they're not going to strike at you. And they might if he was agitated because you don't know what, what somebody yeah, else might have done. That's true. But generally, like, even if you walk by one, that's why they do the rattle because it's a warning. Yeah. So that's like when they're threatened. Mm-hmm. So if you hear the rattle, that's good because it didn't bite you. All right. So I think when you hear it, like you should observe. Yeah. But if you got yeah. headphones and you ain't hearing yeah. shit, right? Definitely, so like, that's that what I mean. Like, yeah. He would get attitude from these people like, yo, why the fuck are you stopping me? Yeah. Cool. They're everywhere. But like, you're going to run one of these days and you're going to wish somebody told you or you're going to get shit scared out of you. Something, you know, like mm-hmm. I want to know that shit. Yeah. But yeah, some people are just so fucking ignorant. Yeah. I was it's like, yeah. oh, next time I won't tell you. Let me take a picture of your face so I know not I've to tell it. you next time. Like, <laughs> I would, I would say that's, ass. that would be a fucking weird one too. Snakes are fucking creepy. Even though I used uh, to yeah, own I'm not one. a fan. I used to have a snake, but I don't, I don't really like them. Uh, that's someone you're I just way don't too young trust them. My brother loves snakes. You can't get a read off of them. That's probably no, why. They fucking do whatever the fuck they want. Yeah, they don't care. No. They don't like you. No. They don't hate you either, but they uh, just- They don't like you. I think they're just indifferent. I think they're just like, I'm a snake. I'm going to keep being a snake. I'm going to do snake I bit you, I'm things. a snake. Yeah. I didn't bite you, I'm a snake. So- It just keeps being a snake. The one thing I heard about like rattlesnakes and shit is like the babies- Because when they're young, they haven't really learned how to control, like, their venom. So, like, an adult, a lot of the times you, I think you have a higher percentage of living because it might not inject all of its venom. Oh, I get that. Into the bite where the baby is going to be like. He gives you a full pump. That thing's just, he doesn't fucking care. No. He's a little baby. He's just going to give it to you all. And, yeah, the baby ones are fucking. Well, yeah, but they're, like, fucking needles, man. Oh, yeah. Well, that's how they get it. I'm in. not a fan of snakes. Let's just well, just just to clear the clear yeah, the air. Not a fan. No. Like my brother would bring snakes over, or like he'd have him and his buddy used to have snakes and shit. They were like trying to breed and stuff. He'd be like, "Yo, come over." He's like, "I'll oh, just hold it." I'm like, "I don't want to fucking hold this it's thing, dude." It. And then they'd like let it like go, and it's like, "Where's the snake going?" I'm like, "I'm out of here, bro." Snakes and spiders. I'm out. I'm deuces. Yeah, snakes and spiders are like a yeah. evolution. Yo, tarantulas. In your brain. F that noise. I saw it. I haven't seen a tarantula, but I've seen some big spiders. I haven't seen a tarantula other than in a cage. And even then, I wanted to step on it. How big was it? Dude, they're like 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 this big, dude. uh, Too big. It is nasty. You seen that bird eating ones? The ones in Australia that catch birds in their webs? Yeah. Yeah, that's insane. No thanks. Those aren't tarantulas. Apparently, no, they're not. They're a different type. Well, I thought it was well, like a, a tarantula. A, I'm, sure like the, I'm sure there's a tarantula that does catch a bird, yeah. but I'm thinking of something else. Okay. There's Either a, way. There's, yeah. there's a spider that'll set up a web across a tree and, and like a dove catch. will fly into it. Be like, perfect. Now I can eat a dove. A fucking dove. 
Dude, that's yeah. And I'm pretty sure that's in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> Which makes I, sense. I would like Australia looks beautiful, but they got too much fucked up shit for me to really want to go there. Everyone says you don't see it, but I don't know. We'll I have, I've heard some stories. Yeah, I've heard too many stories. Yeah. I hear New Zealand is just no, no. the less dangerous Australia. Yeah. A little more rugged. Yeah, less I'm, less I'm, back. Yeah, I'm down for that. Yeah, 10 of the top deadliest <laughs> things don't live there. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I'd rather go there. Yeah. It was a... Uh, nice. Wasn't a lot of uh, Game of Thrones film, filmed in New Zealand? I couldn't tell you where any of Game of Thrones was filmed. I think filmed. they had a... I could be wrong. Maybe it was they Vikings. They filmed that shit all over the world. One of those shows. It makes sense. Uh, it, it, they just go wherever looks closest to that has the best tax breaks. That's how films facts, decide but where Sometimes you're kind of limited. Sometimes you, you gotta... You can be, but often they'll figure... Like, here's the, here's the thing, too. Is like, like Iceland is a big one, I think, too. Is but, it Iceland or Greenland? Uh, Iceland. The, but they will not go to Iceland and they'll go to New Zealand or they'll go to a different part. <clears throat> Because really, in a shot of something, you only need, you don't need to see the no, whole thing. No. So, especially there, nowadays, if there is a part of CGI, if so there's much. a part of Canada that has one little peak that looks like where you want it to be, you can go and film there. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, film comp, like, Australia's doing, a, like, is promoting a lot of, like, tax breaks to stuff to come and film there. Georgia was big for a while, but yeah, film companies just go wherever they can get the tax breaks. That's how they okay, decide their location. Let's get this whiskey review done. Yes. We we went off on a on a tangent there. I'm not sure it was a tangent. I don't even think we started. Well, I started talking about it. Like it, it, it's really sweet. It did have a a big old bite at the start there. Once it chilled out and diluted a little bit, it was nice. But you drink this shit neat. It's gonna. It's gonna be warm. Nice and flavorful though. I'm going. Uh, Going eight four. That's quite a bit higher than me. Is it? Mm -hmm. It's just really sweet. So we drank that. What was that High River whiskey we drank? Yep. That was a rye whiskey. Yep. And I quite enjoyed that a bit more than this. Do you want some more? I'm okay just now. You're okay. Um. So I'm going to give this a seven point nine, and it is, and and it is all the things. Just so yeah. people know for the thing, it is smooth. It's got good flavor. It's just there's a little something in it that you don't like that I just uh, I'm not a, a lover of because I, I don't know if maybe the High River had it was uh, the a, High River was super smooth. It was really smooth. It was really warm, but there's just something in this that I'm. But it's no big deal. It's seven point nine, which it's is still a, a really good score. It, it really is. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is brew. This is distilled in Grimsby, Ontario. Which is nice. It's a nice batch. Out in, by the, it is really sweet, though. Out in wine country, they make whiskey. Yep. I like it. Do things a little differently. Yeah. Well, I brought up Vikings. Your thoughts on Vikings? Generally? Yeah. Fuck. I don't know a ton about them. Neither do I, but I watched the show. I've never seen the show. <laughs> I, it's it's a, it's a, okay, so the show's really good, but I think it... I don't think it's just. I think it just accurate, carried right? on... No, it definitely isn't, but it carried on a little little too long, I think. I think they're on like, or they were on like season seven or eight. It's a long run for a show. We were talking about it with Zach, like Game of Thrones, they went to eight seasons. They were good for seven. The fact that they were yeah, good they for- They just got lazy, dude. Uh, no, but what I was going to say is the fact that they were good for seven is a testament to the show. Yeah. Most shows will go seven, eight seasons and they'll only be good for four. I was going to say, I think the... I can't imagine Grey's Anatomy is still good in season 28 or <laughs> whatever the fuck that I don't... Like, every time you see understand. a commercial for that show, you're like, that show is still going? I don't understand how people still watch it. It's literally the same shit day in, day out. Obviously, it's not. It's like um, The Walking Dead. That shit's still on. I can't believe it's still on. It's been a long time. Dude, they're on like season 12. I bailed off of that show after season one. I bailed off of... Well, I never started watching it until they were like season seven or eight. And I watched up till six, I think, with Otter, and then call it quits. Yeah, there was multiple just seasons when I started. Too I just, repetitive. Season two was like, uh, there's still there's still zombies. Yeah. There's still 
Still we haven't walk, got anywhere. Still going to walk around yeah. and kill zombies. We're going to find a new habitat and then somebody's going to roll up on us and we're going to have a big old battle. And then we're going to go find a new habitat the next time. And then season. we're going <laughs> to have a big battle and then the zombies are going to come and then we're going to be a group together. So here's a question then for you. Yeah. Because you've seen the show. What generally is more dangerous to the group? Is it other humans or is it zombies? I would say it's other other people. Yeah. Because they don't trust... Like once you have your core group, it's like everybody doesn't trust yeah, other people. Because it's the apocalypse. You, yeah, I get but that. At, at the same time, it's like if here's my issue, at least for me, if you're if the world is in this state, wouldn't you want more people? But at the same time, bringing in more people, you gotta worry about more food. More resources. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's where the big thing is. Oh, you guys got food? Cool. Let's be friends. Mm-hmm. Murder your asses while you're sleeping. Yeah, and that's that's the problem is now like everybody is because everything's cool. Mm-hmm. We just generally trust each other. But if shit goes sideways, we're like, well, yeah, I don't know you. What's your intentions? Yeah, I'm just trying to survive. Mm-hmm. And then if you get a bad feeling about someone and you're fucking wrong, shit goes sideways quickly. Yeah, I don't know. It's crazy. I'm certainly it's glad like, it's not the apocalypse. It's like every season was like, ah, we're the last on earth. We're never going to find anybody else. And then they find someone else. And, and they, they find somebody else. Fucking and trying then to kill each other. They go through the whole shebang and then it's, there's nobody else out there. We're just going <laughs> to travel for days on end. Let's set up here. Oh, there's more people. It's like, holy fuck. We get it. Yeah, like if you think about how many people would die like in a zombie apocalypse or like However, the pan, like, I'm assuming the zombie apocalypse was like some sort of virus, right? Well, yeah. obviously it is because someone bites you, they give it to you and yeah. fucking on you go, right? So let's say I'm going to use the I Am Legend inference. I think like I Am Legend, the virus killed like 90% of the people. Right. And then I think like 9%, like 1% were immune. And then I think like the other 9% like became those things and eventually started off around the fuck. So basically the population is down to like 1% or 2% of what it is still a lot of room for people yeah and still a lot of people are left like one percent of seven billion is a fucking couple hundred million people that's a lot of people without me doing the math now that, let me ask definitely you this. a couple hundred million if a zombie apocalypse happened where wanna, would you go where would i go yeah like what would you what would be your end plant or like end base i would probably go to my dad's cottage that's that's the end place just like off the top of my head, yeah, it'd probably be one of the places I go. Okay, yeah, okay, but I aside, would want to go somewhere like like if you far. had like everything you could need and want. Where okay, like, so what are we, what what is the question here? What is is it am like I gonna, to survive for the rest of the zombie apocalypse? Because again, you're not going to kill every zombie. No, probably ever, and it's going to take a long time. Somewhere remote. Yeah. My dad's place isn't rem- that remote because there's a lot of cottages there. So then there's the question of like, how much can you trust people? Also, your lights are on at nighttime. People are going to see that. It's not well defended. Your place is much better because you're sort of in the middle of a property. You and you can see, see people coming around. and going from all sides. Yeah. The downside to your place is there's not a lot of resources. Yeah. My dad's place is on a lake. You could fish. You can drink fresh water. There's lots of wildlife up there. But again... You're a bit closer to civilization. Let me throw this idea at you. Get down to the docks. You get a shipping, like a cargo ship. And you just go post out, post up in the the ocean somewhere. Now, you don't have to go far from shore. You just got to go offshore. You just got to go offshore. Because they're not going to be able to swim. They may be able to survive in the water and whatever, but they're going to be at the bottom. They're not going to swim. They're not going to get about to the this boat. a lot more than I have. <laughs> I have every because for a while that was a big thing, right? Like, where would you go? Well, if I had my choice to, so you would anything, go down to Red Path Sugar on Queens Key, where they always have like big freighters in there. I, you I jump would probably, on a freighter and just like push off. I probably and go out like not just past even, the island and just hang on Lake Ontario. You you could do that. I was I would probably go more towards like let's go to fucking like Quebec. I don't think, see, I don't think you're ever going to get that far. Really? I think. It's going to be too big of a shit show. If shit hits the fan, truly, I think the furthest you can get is within a couple hours of where you are. Really? eh? Yeah, I do. Okay. Okay. And that's if you get a jump on it. I think, but like, you got to assume that fucking roads out of major 
are going to be absolutely are going to be insane. jammed and yeah. you're not getting anywhere. It's going to be psychotic. Yeah. Gotcha. That makes sense. Never really thought of that. But I, again, I, I think this is more like end goal, right? Because my thoughts are if you hit Quebec or if you can get to Quebec at some point, get on a cargo ship, go up the same figure Lawrence. out how to fucking maneuver it. I'm not learning how to drive a boat. I would learn in the heat of the moment. I think you would you would learn how to crash that boat before you learn how to drive it. Uh, you might drive it. <laughs> you might. You might. But if you can get a cargo ship that's got cargo on it, highly likely there's going to be one container that's got some food in it. At the very least, it should at least one container will have some sort of drugs on it. Yeah, and you can have a good time. That's a, that's a good time. Yeah. If there's no food and you can't go back to shore because there's too many zombies, at least you could OD on something nice. You gotta or think just about that fucking resource. trip out every day, or whatever, once a week, or well, eventually however you're gonna often starve you want it. Yeah, but see, so here's the other thing. So once you get out there, you could maneuver your if you can figure out how to drive the boat. See, I, I'm not, I'm not down with this. I don't think see, you want to be. At, I don't think you want to be on open water. Okay, but here's the thing. I think you do because again, if you're not close to shore, you can just anchor, right? Just chill there, just floating out maybe a couple hundred feet from shore maybe a little farther and obviously you're going to be with a group of friends it's not just going to be you solo mm -hmm. like i definitely would have some people in my bubble and th there's got to be a couple of us i can figure out how to fucking use this fucking cargo ship i would imagine i think if we stuck our heads together we could figure it out i think we could figure out how to how to at run least, it a run at it least, ground that's at all least i think least and far enough out that we would be okay. Then the other thing would be, uh, again, if we can get close to shore, we can then hunt for anything that we needed. With what weapons? And then we, what weapons? The ones that we would fucking make. We're making spears. Yeah, I guess you're going to have to. At, at some point. Yeah. But uh, hey, there could be a cargo container filled with weaponry. <laughs> you never know. Uh but then when you go on shore, you could also steal a smaller boat for transportation there and back. You're all about the boat life. I think it's the best because, again, unless you have a contamination on your ship that you can't clear out for some reason, where are they going to come from? Well, I, I, I agree with you in the sense that. If you're on land, I think they're going to get to you sooner or later I, because apparently they're right attracted that. to sound. So you start killing shit with guns, hunting. Zombies are attracted to sound? Probably. The, uh, in just on a, the Walking on a Dead, they are. Okay. So they're on a march for sound. But you make a sound, like a bit of like a loud noise, they're all coming toward you. That makes sense. Um, I think you're right that it's a good spot as in you can't, like you're sort of, you're on an island. Pretty much. Right? You're on yeah. an island. Yeah. They can't come and get you. The only, it, but there's a lot of downsides to be on a boat. 100%. But again, I guess you could take over like Toronto Island or something like that. But that's a lot like it's a lot of land to cover. Toronto Island's pretty small. It's just pretty small, but at the same time, it's pretty big. Big enough. Right? Because how are you going to stop other people from getting on there? And if they come on and they're contaminated now, so yeah, I, you're just battling the entire the time. The problem with that cargo ship thing is you're just rolling the dice. Like you could have a cargo ship that's just filled with sugar cane and yeah. you can't do fuck all with that could be just filled with fucking cigarettes or whatever the fuck you could know be. could be an oil tanker it's good in the sense that you're isolated from the problem yeah also that's my thought, let me right? let me hit you with this idea yeah how about not surviving the apocalypse would probably be a better option yeah. just fucking yeah i don't want to yeah yeah i think it would be fun for a little I, bit i think no i no? think none of it would be fun uh okay now that I think about it, yeah. I think you're zero. probably right. I, th I think you're being more realistic. I, I know. <laughs> we're, we're, you're trying to be realistic. I'm trying to be realistic. Yeah. Think about how fucking weird it was last March when Corona just hit and like you go in the grocery store and like people, there was like this panicky oh feel. God, yeah. Remember that feeling? Yeah. People were stealing toilet paper. Bro, yeah. toilet paper, that's your biggest worry? Anyway. Hop in the shower, motherfucker. Sure. We've been down that road. Yeah. Everyone knows that. Trust me. But still. Think about that feeling of like that nervous energy yeah. that was like you could cut it with a knife, right? And then it makes you nervous. Dude, a sneeze in the grocery store. But now- Just from dust. Now multiply that with something that's actually deadly and like actually going to kill 90 plus percent of the people. Yeah. Like 
you don't want to be around that. No, you're right. Like if there's a That's vi- crazy. like let's say that a virus kills like 90% of the people it, it gets. Yeah. And like you're he- you're actually headed towards a real apocalypse where it's like fuck like I'm going to have to forge for food. I'm going to have to contend with other bands of people who are probably just going to end up killing me and taking my shit. Yeah. Most likely. Because we're going to get really fucking, we're going to go pretty primitive very fast. Yeah, hey, yo, death. real quick. Yeah. So besides all that, what you should probably want is to catch the virus and die of it. As opposed to as opposed to surviving to be the 1% left. Or like you said, just find a bunch of drugs and just go just, out in a good time. Yeah, just go out in with a In a bag. different fucking atmosphere. Like, yeah. A, Different fucking world. If it comes down to that. Or, yeah. but I would say this though. I don't think I'm ever going to fucking, like if there's an apocalypse coming, I don't think I'm going to be on team suicide. But I do think I'd rather whatever the thing is, just take me out. As opposed to me having to go through the whole, it could be a, I'm one of the last terrible, people on earth. It could be a terrible way to go out though. Here's the up. Right? It could be a slow like Might fucking, be rough. Yeah. Might be really rough. But- it's temporary. Very temporary. The apocalypse is permanent. Like Facts. the surviving the apocalypse. Well, yeah. Here's the other thing that they never talk about in apocalypse movies. This whole area is going to be fucked anyway. Because there's nuclear reactors around here. Oh, God. You would have to leave. Fuck. Yeah. Like you're going to have Chernobyls all over the place. Anywhere there's a nuclear reactor, as soon as it stops being attended to, it's going to melt down and explode. Yeah. And you're going to have vast areas that are filled with radiation that you won't know you can't about. even go there after but you're not going to know because it's the apocalypse so you're going to be wandering True. through the fucking woods dead. and then a day later you're fucking you dying of 17 eyes and you're just dead from radiation foaming from the mouth and that is worse than surviving the apocalypse dying True. of radiation i never poisoning. thought of that yeah wow that is a show that was on history channel probably over a decade ago and it was like last it was like it was as if like all people disappeared like yeah. What would happen? Or, oh, fuck, I forget the name of this show. That's kind of cool. I'm, I'm interested in it's that. It's got to bug me. I'll, I'll, I'll find it out. Sure. Um, Earth after, life after, life, Earth after people or life after people. Something like that. Hmm. And it would. I never thought of that. And uh, one of the episodes. But wouldn't they just shut them down? No. You would think? No, because society is collapsing. So you also have to consider the fact that if it's a virus, what's the, what's the chances that nobody that knows how to, there's, how many people know how to operate and keep a nuclear reactor? Yeah, but fine. But here's how many my of those thing. people are going to get sick? How many of them are going to die? They're but not- here's my thing, right? Like, if the outbreak happens, you would think you would think somebody would go and shut, like, hit the. But there is no hit off- the red stop. Button. There's no stop button on nuclear reactors. Oh well, that's an issue. Maybe we should look into that. <laughs> yeah, there's no, there's no like off switch. You can't turn them off. Fuck. And that's why it's good energy. But there's, it's also like expensive to maintain. Yeah, is why hydro costs are high because there's no like, okay, we're only, we only need our peak hours are between these hours and these hours, so we'll just run the reactor for that time. It doesn't work like that. You rack your own twenty four seven because if it's if it doesn't, yeah, it you're, fucking melt you're down. fucked. Yeah. So as society is collapsing, I, you got that shit's fucked. You have to think about how many people are going to be left to operate the reactor out of how many people know how to operate the reactor and maintain it so that it doesn't. Can't transform. We're literally and now fucked. you're yeah, you're fucked. And now you gotta assume that none of them get sick. And then as opposed to caring for their families or loved ones and trying to get the fuck out of wherever the fuck they are, they're yeah. gonna stay back and be like, I'll man the reactor. No. What's the chances of that? In there, n- yeah. Not a hell like they're so, out of there. So you're gonna And have those to- people are the first ones that are like, okay, there's reactors here, 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 and here. We need to go here and we'll be out of the fucking circles. Yeah. Which is going to be fucking boonies, if not freezing cold, at least for us. Yeah, and I don't even know if you want to go south because there's there's reactors across the border, too. You might be better just going way north. North is probably the, the answer. Now, how easy would it be to find some bunkers? Do you know of any right now? No. That's Actually, I do. I do. I do know. Do and you, it's in Aurora. You know of a bunker in Aurora? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you about it later. Can't give away all my shit. How deep is it? It was, it was meant for like a... Nuclear I think it blast. was built in World War II or something like that. Like it was like made like the mayor in Aurora at the time had fucking plans on like how to get there. Like it got checked up on constantly. 
You got to give me the history of this thing. This I don't is really know it. I don't really know the history. I just is it the one that was... know the owners of the house that like had the bunker. Oh, it was in a backyard. Pretty much, yeah. And this bunker was built because of like it was in between your old place and here. Really? Yeah, that's close. Literally, so like that's a around, two it's, a, drive. it's around the corner. Pretty much. And now, was this thing built by someone that was like a like? concerned about like nuclear war or was this built with like i think it was the built intention prior. Of, was this the, built with the intention of like getting townspeople into it or is it like more for like a family or two i think it's more for like family or two i think it was built again it's all speculation because i don't know the history have you been it. in it when i was younger yeah really yeah they used to uh, i think know they the, used you to know dress the family that live there yeah my parents used to be friends with them that's fucking wild. They used to, I'm pretty sure they used to like uh, decorate it at Halloween and it was scary. I can imagine. And I was like seven year old bunker. And I'm seven and this shit's scary as fuck. It'd probably be scary now. Like I think I only saw it once not dressed up for Halloween. Like when the whole thing was. That is fucking bizarre. Yeah. It's kind of cool though. It was really cool. Yeah. Anyway, that bunker's not going to stop you. I don't think that it's a fallout shelter. No, but I'm thinking like, because there are people that have made bunkers like way north and they are like, you're never finding them. No. Unless you know exactly where it is. You're not supposed to find them. Exactly. So. Maybe we should start looking at. Well, what I would think is you just, you just look at a map now. Right. And I, I know where all the, I'm pretty sure we, all the reactors are within like an hour drive of here. Except yeah, we're in not good radius. We're not in good radius. So I would think off the top of my head, you'd want to go probably six or seven hours north. Okay. Off the top of my head. And then you'd probably want to tr- keep on traveling north. Yeah, see. You'd probably want to get up around Thunder Bay would be my guess. I may even want to Manito- hit the border of like not Manitoba sure. and Ontario almost. Well, that's what I mean. That's Thunder yeah. Bay, basically. I don't yeah. think you want to. But like a little more north, like almost get yourself. Like Churchill, Manitoba. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. Fight with polar bears. Well, okay, maybe not that far up. But yeah, but you want to get that north because again, if you're that sec- secluded, think of all the wildlife. Like, sure, there's going to be a shit ton of bears, wolves, whatever. But uh, there's going to be a shit ton of like caribou and could some, be yeah. a lot of mises, a lot of mises, a lot of mises. flocks of mice. Yeah, uh, you got to just yeah. deer, elk. But that's something that no one ever talks about in apocalypse movies, which really bugs me is the fact that all the nuclear reactors will be unattended. They'll melt down. And then most likely, I think that'll kill most of the life. It'll kill a lot. Because um, how many people are going to be like, I'm just going to stay in my house. Also, it's not just people. It's all the wildlife, too. Uh, yep. Yeah. There's so, going to be a lot of deer running around with fucking 17 So, likes. like, if the virus doesn't get you, if people don't get you, the radiation probably will, is my conclusion yeah. to the whole apocalypse story. So maybe... Back to your boat idea. Maybe that's the play. But again, I never thought of the nuclear reactors. And if the nu- if they explode in the radiation, you it doesn't the stop at the wa- border of the water. It also doesn't stop where it is. It's You've got fallout. You've got wind. Yeah, so you've got you really got to fucking travel out, out of the, like, um, Lake Ontario is a no-go. Yeah. You can't go there. Lake Huron's a no-go because that's where the- You got to go again, is. Quebec, and I would imagine there's one out in Quebec somewhere. Somewhere. And you got to fucking well, hit think, that I ocean. I think Northwest is the way to go because the the landlocked provinces, I can't imagine how many they have. Especially North. Let's just find out. Fuck, that's- Yeah, I never thought of that. That's crazy. How many nuclear reactors? Plants in Canada. Be cool to see There's a map six. of it. There's six. Yeah, so I I would Im- I would imagine they're on the like again. There's three within us, just in Ontario. We are the second second largest country to use, or um, second country. Oh god, I get this sense. out. English is hard. We you we produce the second most amount of nuclear energy in the world. Jesus. Uh, sorry, we are six, but the amount of uranium production, we're we are third? second. Second. 
Kazakhstan is an overwhelming first at 43% of the world. And just for everybody listening, we're at 13. Yeah. So all... Oh, we have a lot of uranium and mining plants, but I just want to see the nuclear power and generation blue. They're now, all they're all in Ontario. Really? No, there's one in there's one one two. There's one in Quebec. There's two, two in like Quebec. right on the uh, there's two in Quebec. right on the border. Chalk River and one by the St. Lawrence, and then there's looks like there's one. Yeah, your best generation. bet's gonna be like fucking North Ontario, like Ontario. way north. Yep, Ontario. State, don't go northwest. Northwest, you're probably fine. Listeners out there, go northeast. Or just go east <laughs> if you're on Ontario. Just fucking die of the virus. Like that's what you want. You don't want to you don't want to survive this. But shit. if you're close to like if we're where we are now, we're You'll in the blast a radius. Fucking, yeah, you're in the blast radius. So you're gone gonzo anyways. Yeah, because the fall. So if, if you're just trying to take a way out, you may as well just hunker down here. Till well, that shit fucking goes kaboom no i think if you if if the option of is hunkering down okay two things i'm with you oh man if you're gonna get caught in the blast and the blast will kill you sure but if you're gonna survive the blast and die from the fallout i'd rather die from the blast and the fallout because dying of nuclear rate of oh uh, that's what i mean like yeah, if, if, if your plan is like you know what uh whatever happens happens I'm not. I'm not trying to fucking like. What at that point? Be crazy. And yeah. If, fight you're not, my, if you're not trying to survive, you what you well should do is within drive the blast to the nuclear plant and just and chill. Sit in the window and sit on sit on the stack. Yeah. And wait for the fucker to go off. Or just chill around here until the fucking thing goes completely. I think we're more likely to die of fallout here than the actual explosion. True. Literally. There's a shit ton of people here. I'm probably just packing up and going. I think yeah. I think most people would go, and I think the fallout would kill most people within a couple hundred kilometers we'd all think we're good or it would poison animals we'd eat animals get the radiation into us and die anyway true it would uh yeah apocalypse not something that is fun i don't think there's so many people here too that i think there'd be so much shenanigans you almost kind of you almost need to hunker down for like almost like a week man like how long would it take for that reactor to go off oh uh like a day unattended yeah. I don't think it would take long for the water to boil off because the whole thing, the reason they're like on. A, like, uh, just estimate it. What, what, what do you think? Like a day? I guess. Yeah. I don't even think it'd be that long. Okay. Fully unattended? Yeah. Yeah. Like, because, no, sorry. It would be like a couple weeks because, like, you eventually, think? yeah, because there's backup generators. Okay. Upon backup at generators, upon backup generators. Okay. So eventually, once all the fuel ran up, they probably have maybe like a month or two of fuel. Okay. So these. So you, got, you got a little bit of time. You got some time. So I would. Yeah, I didn't think of this. So you would probably have a long time to get out of Dodge and find yourself. I still don't think, though, once they all melted down and stuff like that, I don't know how far is good enough. Because, again, with winds and shit like that. Oh, it's going to carry. It's going to push the fallout all over the place. And I don't. And then again, you might be so far north that you don't know that this shit's happened. And then eventually start to travel down south, it. and then yeah, you're yeah, traveling yeah. into a fucking death, a death zone, right? Yeah, you almost gotta. Once you leave, you don't come back. That's basically it. Like, you only go north from here. Mm-hmm. Where we are, you don't go south or east. You go north and slightly west. Yeah, northwest for sure. Because my thoughts are: there's so many people where we are. Everybody's going to be trying to get out. Everyone's gonna be going north. Yeah, but like ever, like rows are gonna be jammed. So what I'm saying is, if oh, you could I, like now, I know what you're talking. If about. you could like just wait in your house for a week, let or the, let just somewhere, right? Like be like now. call call your north. call your group. Be like, where are we hunkering down? Got it. Figure something out. Okay, we're gonna meet up here and go here. And if you can all fit in a fucking one vehicle or something, less. Chances of something happening to that, like three people. I'm with you now. Now I know you're safe. Right. We got to pause for a second. I'm gonna piss my pants. Okay. And we're back. Sorry about that. Oh, dude. Got to pee. Got to pee. Yeah. So, apocalypse is scary. I don't like. It. And again, I never ever thought of the nuclear reactors uh, and. uh P- the, it, the, that's changed my whole output because now 
the whole cargo ship thing is out of it's out the window. Fast and radius. And if you you're can't get that thing around. going and far enough away, you're fucked. And even then You still I've, need resources. Yeah, and like where are you gonna go? Like you're literally fucked. Yes. Stuck out there because you can't go back to land now. You can try to make it across seas or down to the states, but I'm gonna imagine there's plants down there as well. Back to the fictitious world though. If you were if if you didn't have to contend with nuclear explosions, <laughs> yeah. Um, I would say a place that is I would I would I would go on land. I'd stay on land. I would just like to be in a place where I, you can observe all things coming and going. Yeah, see, that's why I wouldn't like your dad's place. It's why I don't like it either. But I, it, it's not a temporary. It's not. It's more of a temporary. That would be fix, a temporary temporary solution. As that's almost like the meetup one. place. Some to that effect, I would say, as opposed to the permanent. This is where you're going to be. Yeah. Because again, it's not. You can't see a lot of things coming and going. It's easy to sneak up on. It's on a lake that's surrounded by darkness at nighttime. You can see yeah, the lights it's on. Fucking pitch black up there. Yeah, it's not a great spot, but I think in like the first couple of weeks, people will be less fucking primal and cavemanish. Kind of stick together. It's, it's more almost like almost have like a little more, community. It's more like after the first like couple months, when like resources actually start to run out, that's when you got to be fearful. And hopefully by that time, you figured out a, a more permanent place to go. Yeah. Where you got, you can see things coming and going. You almost kind of want to get a, a place that, uh, that that's somewhat wooded and then cleared out yourselves. You know what I mean? And make your own perimeter because cutting down all those trees, you now have firewood. Well, wood to use to like cook and whatever. That's. I think you want an open area near wood. I don't think you want to have to clear the land. No. Because I, I don't think. Zombies hear noises. Well, it's not even that. It's just that. You'd have to clear so much of an area. True. It'd be so much work. Also, the thing you got to consider is fuel is pro- probably going to be gone. True. And the lineups for fuel are going to be insane. Facts. So. Everybody's going to be hogging that shit. Well, yeah, it's a it's a resource, right? Yeah. So that'll probably be the first thing that goes. And then that's how like you're not going to be able to get to where you want to go. Probably end up walking at some point. So the fact if you think you're going to be able to clear shit out. You basically don't want someone to sneak up on you. Yeah. So even if you like, you're like, okay, this is this spot in the middle of the woods. And then we're going to clear like 200 yards that way. Is There's a lot of time for people to get very close. You can't see in the woods. No, you're People fucked. are right there. You're True. fucked. You want to be there and see the woods there. That'd be my thought. Prison would be a good place to hunker down. I think they did that in The Walking Dead, but you just got to hope everybody's dead. Oh, all the prisoners. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, you're getting fucked. I can imagine. Right? Was the prison all, a scene at one point? I think they ended up at a prison, but it was like in later seasons. Yeah. And there was there were some zombies in there. I would imagine, yeah. yeah. Locked in cells. Or not. Open the wrong door. <laughs> Rawr. Yeah. How hey. fast are the zombies in Walking Dead? I can't remember. You know what? I don't think they're that fast. You could, you could outrun them, but... Their stamina the is un- unlimited. And yeah. yeah, it's the numbers too. And again, once you start shooting guns, they, uh, all the surrounding zombies hear that and they're coming in too. Do you remember the show Deadliest Warrior? I do. Yeah. That was a great show. It was a really good show. Love that show. Love uh, the samurai shit. I have a big heart on for samurais. Yeah? Yeah. I just like their swords. Ooh, excuse me. Jesus. You guess? I'm good. I just need to get that one out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really good. Um, so on that show, they did a uh, vampires versus zombies episode. Didn't they? So like for anyone who doesn't they, know. They, they ran out of material that much? No, it was just like a special. It was, it was, it was like, like a that, Halloween thing oh, okay. or something. It was also probably during the fad of. Zombies. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so anyone who doesn't know the show or doesn't remember, Deadliest Warriors every week they would pin like two it started off at like at the start Medieval. as like famous warriors yeah so they would do like vlad the impaler versus like attila the hunt say and then they would like they would go through like their weaponry their, there would be like four categories of weaponry yeah and then they would run it through like some computer simulation after like putting in all the data and it was like people like using like fucking battle axes on ham on like dead pigs and shit like that it yeah was and they also didn't they have like actual weaponry that they would use yeah so like they would use on like 
like yeah. pigs and shit to like show the damage. So they enter in and then you would see who would who would have won. They would do like some sort of simulation. Yeah. So they did one of those with uh vampires and zombies. And the battle numbers were one vampire versus like a thousand zombies is how they did the simulation. Jeez. Because vampires are like unlimited, like they're they're fast, right? Like they always move like in a flash. Yeah. Night. They're basically superhumans, right? They're yeah. Superman. They can't die, all this shit. So there's it's a it's Superman versus like a horde. Right. Which and is so eventually the horde overwhelmed the vampire and the vampire lost to the zombies. Just based Makes on numbers. Because yeah. although Superman can keep doing all this thing, eventually one will get him and then he'll slow down for that split second and the horde just keeps and moving. They just pile and on. then eventually, yeah. So it's <sighs> just that it's a numbers game with zombies. It's not a agiles like yeah. we're gonna outrun you, we're gonna out outfight you, whatever. It's just there's gonna be so many of us. It's just gonna be an endless wave and it'll just went out, which makes sense. That, it definitely makes yeah. sense. And that's the biggest thing is it's the numbers, right? Because again, look at look at Toronto's population. Yeah. Just in general. Mm -hmm. Or even New York's. Yeah. No, so, use Toronto. Five million people. That's a lot of fucking people. Yeah. That's four million. And let's people. say like a third get infected. Even a, a a fifth or yeah would it be a fifth yeah like a million people got infected with that's a, lot that's of a zombies. million fucking zombies and you're telling me the other the other four million aren't getting bit infected you're gonna come like aren't you gotta, dealing with the the collapse of society dude you gotta think food, two dying. million out of that four are either dying or getting infected and becoming zombies some point or another for sure they are right so I was fucking. That's another thing to think of. It's it's not, and that's just here. That's not all the other major cities Everywhere. surrounding us. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it, it, life would end pretty quickly. I think. Probably. I don't think it would last twelve seasons. <laughs> 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 as he takes the drink too. right as i took the sip of water no yeah, i think you're yeah. right i don't think it would last 12 seasons that's yeah. a very good point fuck a decade <laughs> dude it, and again like how I, I, don't think, I don't know what it's are they enjoying are life on? like you watch six seasons were they enjoying themselves ever i think we because again like it'd be like the end of a season everything would be it either went like everything was okay or like mid season, everything, ah, oh, dude, it's, there's a few zombies here and there, but we, we take them out with control. like silent weaponry or whatever it is. Crossbows. Like, yeah, whatever it was, fucking uh, nail baseball bat to the fucking head. Kill That'll do it. Right? Shit like that where it would go out silently and more zombies don't come. You deal with that every once in a while and then. You got your crops growing. You got a little fucking community set up. Everybody's fucking friendly. Next thing you know, there's so new dude rolls in. We're fucking you over. Yeah. You're going to give us half your shit or we're killing all of you. So the answer is no. There was never really that. It was momentary things where it's like, ah. Yeah. Uh, Happiness. You could sit down and be like, <sighs> we're good. And then. But even then, they're going later. out there trying to find fuel. Everything. Fucking food, bandages, also, I medicine. Believe that, I believe that fuel has an expiry date, if I recall. I think like in an Again, I don't think it's lasting 12 seasons. No, I think it's like, a th I think you have a maximum of three years. Yeah. Do you ever watch the show Last Man on Earth? No. Really funny like premise of like an apocalypse type thing. It's with Will Forte. You know him to see him. He's in a ton of shit. He was on Saturday Night Live. Okay. Um, uh, what was that? Beer, beer Fest he was in. As one of the German guys. Really funny guy. Okay. Yeah, and I'd probably know him if I saw him. The premise is he's the last man on earth. And he's just like this regular dude who's just like a shithead and like just a shit kicker and thinks he's the last man on earth. Yeah. He like chooses to live in like Tucson, Arizona, like a <laughs> desert, like the worst possible place you'd want to live. But like he's got free reign to the act. Like he doesn't have to compete with zombies. Nothing. Yeah, like he's, nothing. There's no one around. He's literally the last thing on Everyone's earth. fucking dead. And it's just like it's a comedy based on that. I highly recommend it to you and anyone else listening. Last Fuck. Man on Earth. I'll have to check it out. Three seasons, I think they did. It was... Because wasn't there a show like that? 
or not a show, uh, a movie, Last Man on Earth, something like that with uh, Will Smith. No, that's I Am Legend. He was like the last. Fuck. Man. Uh, the office guy. What the fuck's his name? Oh, uh, oh, uh, I know the movie you're talking about. Uh, last day on fucking earth or something. It was something like that. With Jim Krasinski, the like, the no, like Jim in the office. No, uh, the played Michael. What's his name? Steven. Uh, he was in a movie, Last Man on Earth, wasn't he? No, I'm totally confused. Oh my god, where's my f- you're gonna have to look this up. I gotta hit, hit up Google here. Google. So, the movie I was thinking of. Was what's his Jim, name? Was Jim uh Steve Carell. Uh, Steve. The movie I was thinking of was a movie with Jim Krasinski about aliens that operate on sound, and him and his family are trying to survive and like they use sign language, and they walk on sand. Because okay. otherwise the aliens hear them. And they just made a second one. It's a really good movie. He wrote and directed it. I feel like Emily it, I, I gotta look might, that one up now too. It might not be Seeking a friend for the end of the world. That's what it was. Okay. That's what I Not mind, quite I, the same thing. No, definitely not. <laughs> uh, Maybe okay. it had a different movie in, in mind, but. What is the name of this movie? That's what I was saying of. <sighs> Anchorman. And Beer Fest, dude. What a. Like, that was such a funny movie that I totally forgot about. Beer Fest is really good. Underrated I movie. I totally forgot about yeah. that movie. How movies. A Quiet Place was the name of the movie. And they a did a quiet second place. One. Really good movie. And that is a cool, like, apocalypse movie. Yeah. But it's like an alien invasion. Okay. But they don't show it. No, that show. I haven't seen the second one, so I think they might show more of it. But the first, it's just like a family that's trying to survive. And you, if you speak, the aliens will hear any noise they hear. And they come flying in and they just eat you. But they're blind, thankfully. They can't see. They yeah, just so hear. Like, there's obviously a bunch of moments that are like. <gasps> but, okay, yeah. gotcha. Check it out. Really uh, good. Okay. Yeah. A quiet place. Yeah, Beer Fest was phenomenal. Beer Fest. Oh, dude, how many movies, like, when we were growing up, like, dumb movies like that? Like, you had the whole American Pie series. Uh, dude, Where's American, My Car? American Pie lost its luster. But yeah, that was more the, when we the were first, in public school. What? The first, like, two, I think, were good. Were, like, really good. And the other ones kind of fell off. But you had old school. Yeah. Um, Step Brothers. I think that came out, like, uh, beginning of high school. Um, shit. I had like yeah. seven in my head and totally lost all, gone. all of them. <laughs> but yeah, Beer Fest, man. Oh, that shit was hilarious. Yeah, he, Euro Trip. Oh, Euro Trip, that was another God, one. Man. Yeah, there was a bunch of those stupid movies. Just so dumb, but yeah. like so good. Yeah. Guy thought his name was Michael. Or Mika, and he thought it was a dude. <laughs> and it was his Oh, Euro Trip. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> finds out it's this hot broad oh my god I forgot about Euro Trip there's, <laughs> again there's, there's so many I know and there's so there's many so and I didn't many. I hadn't even thought of Beer Fest yeah in, in a Ages. decade until I thought of I like what Will Forte it. I was I forgot in. that was a movie yeah he was on the German team this guy and the Germans were pretty funny in that movie because they yeah. were like they were like the snobs, right? Because they're yeah, like yeah, the yeah. inventors of beer. Yeah, they Obvia, invented the Obvia boot. Beer is the best. Yeah, they invented the boot. Yeah, toss boot. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't there a movie like called Beer Pong or something like that? And it was about like this whole like beer pong oh, tournament shit. Probably straight to DVD that one. Oh yeah. yeah, how many of those movies went straight to DVD? A lot. When you could go straight to DVD. Yeah. But and now go to Blockbuster movie- and find those movies. Yeah, now there's movies that go straight to like Netflix. <laughs> Netflix. But aren't good either. Oh, terrible. There's there If you go through the Netflix original category, there's a hundred fucking movies that you've never heard of that have actors that you've never heard of that like they're just like buying up for content or whatever. Yeah. And they're basically like, do you remember, they're basically like student films. Do you remember any of the first like original Netflix movies i or got like on, documentary I, type shit no i got in the netflix game really late dude there's comparatively one, there's i've one, been on netflix a long time i'm not like there out was, of touch. there's one literally about amateur porn okay like the girls getting into it oh, and, i saw that one did you hot girls wanted yeah i think yeah. that's what it's called did that's that, not but that's not that that's not that old what, that yeah it's pretty old it was it's not on i don't think you can find it on netflix it's on anymore. there still is it yeah they don't get rid of their originals. I thought I thought they got rid of it. No. But yeah, it was on there when like Netflix first came out. That was like one of their big ones. How old do you think Netflix is? 
I think I know the answer. I think it started. I'm gonna say twenty. I'm gonna say twenty twelve. Okay, I think the answer is like two thousand and four. What? I think it's that old. Yo, okay, Google. I am. That. I think it's. I think it's way older than you think. I. I thought twenty twelve was because back. it was. It was like Redbox. It was like a, It was always a subscription based thing, but it was still in the time of Blockbuster. So you. Would I think like, Redbox is still a thing. But that's that's Netflix. No, I don't think so. I think Redbox is still its own thing where you can go on. They'll send you DVDs. But isn't Redbox done by Netflix? I don't think so. Netflix is older than I thought. Oh, no way. It's 23 years old. Okay, give me a fucking date here. Uh, uh, 98. Jeez. 97. 97. Holy shit. And I will read you the thing. I don't think they're it's founded in 1977. Okay. 1977. God, I have dyslexia. <laughs> 1997. <laughs> 1997. The, the day just kept getting pushed yeah. back. It was founded before America. Uh, it was founded in 1913. <laughs> Just before World War One started, Netflix started. What you guys didn't know is the internet's been around for decades. With Net- centuries. That's what I meant. The internet. Yeah, so it was a DVD model. Sales and rental by mail. Which I believe was Redbox. And I'm sure Redbox. Okay, Google Redbox. I'm pretty sure Redbox. Redbox. Netflix. Oh my God, I need my computer. <laughs> yeah. We're not on the regular setup. I don't think it is. I'm pretty. There's one out there, and I'm pretty sure it's Redbox because I'm pretty sure it's got red in the name. Anyway, Netflix is 23 years old. That's insane. Yeah, I thought 2012 was being generous. I knew 2012 was not anywhere near old enough. That's probably when I found out about it. Probably, yeah. Or when it kind of went, not necessarily mainstream, but like online. Yeah, okay, like where it became more... Yeah. Started switching over to the streaming platform. Yeah, and yeah. like Blockbuster. I remember and... Netflix commercials before before it was a streaming service. I don't even remember. That's why, like, I, I, would, that's why I was saying like 2004, 2003. Dude, I remember going... Because I figured like 2007, if I remember those commercials, where it was like, just drop it off or whatever, and we'll send it to you in the mail and stuff. That's yeah, I remember Netflix Redbox. Because Netflix was always a subscription-based there, thing. Was it Redbox? There was Redbox, it was Redbox. and Netflix. I don't remember seeing, I remember Redbox. I remember seeing ads for that constantly. Um, but I remember going in like Friday nights, sometimes Thursdays, going to Blockbuster and finding like new video games. Like that was, that was literally how you found new video games. That was the best, yeah. Or getting some movies because you're having a sleepover. Got to get some movies yep. to watch. Pull all nighters. Mm hmm. Fuck, dude, that was the best. The blue carpet in there. The best ones were the ones that weren't Netflix or uh, Blockbuster because Blockbuster was a bit hard assed about renting. Do you remember when Rogers used to have their fucking yeah, rental yeah. thing? Yeah, I remember that. So I'm using them interchangeably. Yeah. Here. But there was one in the No Frills Plaza just down the road from here. They stayed open a, uh, a couple years after Blockbuster shut down, too. Yeah. So there was a movie store there. And the reason I would I started going there is because they carried all the same shit. But they didn't hassle you about not being 18 to rent rated R shit. All That's they would do was make a phone call. Really? Yep. Wow. So it wasn't like I was going there renting porns. It was just sure. like if you wanted to rent sure. horror movies and shit, you can roll your eyes all you want. <laughs> oh, I'm joking. just telling you. <laughs> <laughs> that, the internet was around then. You didn't need to go and rent them. <laughs> <laughs> but if you wanted to rent shit, Every time you went to Blockbuster, like, oh, sorry, this is too old for you. Yeah. And call my parents. They wouldn't do that at Blockbuster. No. But this place, they'd be like, you can you do this? And you're like, yeah, okay. So I remember distinctly being like 12 years old. Yeah. Yeah, 12. My cousin Shane and Daniel were here and we're like, we'd walk down the store, rent some things. And it was, uh, so the girl would just make the phone call to your parents and be like, hey, be your like, son hey, is I got, here. I got Chris here and he's trying to rent, uh, I believe Daniel remembers this like word for word, but I'm going to try and do it. So he's like, hi there. Uh, I got your son, Chris, here, and he's trying to rent several features that are above his age age limit. Uh, Those movies are uh, Mean Machine. uh, With The Rock, say, 
and Children of the Corn. (laughs) 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 It was like obscure, but the the last one was Children of the Corn. It was like two regular ass, it was like, let's say like Mean Machine and American Pie. Yeah, yeah. Like that's the two, like regular whatever. Yeah. And then Children of the Corn. (laughs) Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Which is the least scary movie you've ever seen in your entire life, by the way. Yeah. Children of the Corn. There's one scary moment in it. It's, I'm not a fan. I'm not going to watch it. It's just horrible. Yeah, it's like okay. a terribly made movie as well. Yeah. I don't know how it had this like, I remember growing up, it was like, oh, Children of the Corn, scary, scary, scary. In my mind? Sure. No, it's horrible. It was terrible. And I was terrified of scary movies back then. Yeah. I'm still, actually, I don't know. I haven't watched a scary movie in ages. Don't Probably don't since I was movies. fucking like 12. I watched, um, uh, what's the guy from Key and Peele? Jordan Peele? I don't know, man. Jordan Peele, I think. I watched his, uh, he did Get Out. Did you see Get Out? No. You're too no. scared. The, uh, he does horror movies. Okay. And he does them pretty good. Does he? So he does this, this one called Us. And if you watch the trailer, you'd probably freak out. And I remember watching that movie by myself because my wife doesn't watch scary movies. Yeah. She's scared like you. So I always have to watch But she myself. actually watches them. Not really. She, she can she be watches one a year. Well, she can be peer pressured. I feel like she, she almost does. she almost got peer pressured in watching them on uh, that night at the cottage. She almost turned around and said, "Yeah, to that movie." Yeah, it's because we like, were going to go on a hunger strike. And I'm like, if you guys put that on, I'm going to bed. <laughs> and you're like, don't go to bed. We'll watch something. Well, whatever. Then we put on Step Brothers. Yeah, and me and you. Dumb. Dumb idea. Word for word, spit the entire watch movie out until we fell watch asleep. Watch one scary movie. I think you'll find it's more good than scary. All right. Uh, I promise, on our friendship, All right. I will watch one scary movie you. with you. I'm going to save it up for a good one. I promise anyway, on our friendship, I will do it. Thank you. So I haven't said that in a long time. That's true. So <laughs> there is this movie called Us. By, yeah. I'll show you the trailer after. Okay. And I was, and so she wouldn't watch it with me because I can get her to watch one scary movie a year. Yeah. And this wasn't the one. Or this is one of the ones where she like vetoed it right away. It was, based on the trailer. She's crazy, like, eh? I'm not doing it. I didn't, the trailer is freaky. Okay. Like if you watch a trailer, you'd be like, no Hell no. They did way. a really good job on it. No fucking way I'm watching that. So I watched it. and like Trailers are so deceiving. But it was a good movie. Okay. I don't, I don't want to disparage this film. It was a good movie. Okay. But like the first half was like really creepy. And I remember watching this and like she wasn't in the house. I'm watching. I'm like, why am I watching this alone? By myself in the house. And like the first half was like really creepy. And then it kind of changed up a little bit. But I was. It, yeah. They're better to watch with someone else. I would imagine. Yeah. Because although if I like watch them, scary movies. And alone, I do. I do. You're psychopath. I'm not a psychopath. No one will watch them with me. But they freak me out. It's not, it's not like I'm Chris, watching them and Chris. beating off. <laughs> 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 so you tell us. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not convinced. You're not told? <laughs> no. <laughs> Too scary. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> There's no arousing parts in them. Oh, my God. The only ones that they're- For regular people, yes, well, but for you, maybe. No. <laughs> no, no, no. I think those Japanese ones are like, they like toe the line. But there's ones that, uh, like, there's a lot of shitty horror, horror movies. Oh. That are basically like I think if you're getting pull your tits into out like, and get stabbed in the neck, like, think, like Friday the Thirteenth movies. <laughs> there's like more tits in there than there is like than there is like murders. Pull your tits out and get stabbed. Yeah, that's in the always neck. what happens. It's like oh, we're gonna have Titty sex, and then over. the tits come out, and it's like oh no, and then someone gets stabbed. They're so that's dumb. why I loved slasher the movies scary, are horrible. Like slasher the, movies are horrible. The scary movies. Like scary movie, scary movie two, scary movie. Oh, three. the comedies. Yeah, yeah, those ones are so fucking funny. Yeah, I'll give you that. Guy pulls out the fucking, like, takes off her undies and it's just bush. Just flies out. <laughs> yeah, when oh I when I say God. horror, I don't I don't watch slasher flicks because they're they're really dumb. Yeah, like, yeah. They're, they're not scary because it's they're not even like jump scare scary. Like often the time of in those movies, like the jump scare is like it's like oh you scared me there it's like you're expecting like the murderer to jump out and then it's like it's like a, just it's like her, her friend best friend her friend dave with his tits out with his tits out and then he gets stabbed <laughs> <laughs> then bang right in the neck <laughs> oh my god dude that's so funny all right so 
It's time for a new feature that we're going to try here. Chris's predictions. Chris predicts. Now, Chris predicts. Chris predicts. <laughs> 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 oh, God. I hope you have these written down. I do. Okay. I got them written down. So this is how this is going to work. We're going to try it, and we're going to keep we're up with it for happens. a couple of weeks. I think it's going to go fine. This week is going to be just sports because... I thought of this earlier yeah. today, and sure. this is how we're going to do it. He myself. literally thought about it two minutes ago while we were talking about slasher films. Yeah. <laughs> he came up with this great idea. <laughs> everyone's going to have to listen right now. <laughs> so Chris Predicts is going to be me making predictions. Which he normally does. Which I do a fair bit on this show, and often I find that they're wrong when I think back on it. The reason I know they're wrong is people tell me they're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> He gets called out yeah. on him. Which is fine. Yeah, that, hey. But I figure there's a there's a way to like, if I'm wrong most of the time, which I generally am about most things, we can make it fun. So yeah, what right. we'll do is we'll do like two, three predictions. You come up with some, now that we, this is a new thing. Yeah. Next week, c- come up with like two predictions that you want me to guess on. Okay. Some that like can be either verified before the next episode or like we can verify in like a week or two. Or even it can be like a long, a long, one. a long term. But generally, try and mix one in that's like we can kind of find out within a couple of days or a week or okay. so. Okay. So we'll do Chris predicts this week. It's going to be sports. So by the time episode twenty, this episode airs. Yep. This episode twenty eight. This is episode twenty eight, baby. By the time episode twenty eight airs on the date that I will pull up with my phone if I was more prepared. Hang on, it's going to be delayed on YouTube. <laughs> It'll be delayed on YouTube. So if you're watching this, it's in the past. If you're watching this in the well, also if you're listening, this is still in the past. Yeah, but it's by the time March tenth happens, these things will occur. Okay, you will be twenty eight years old. Facts. Yeah, <laughs> That's easy, not a prediction. easy. That dub. was an easy one. Yeah. So the Leafs. Will w- beat Vancouver this weekend four to one in Vancouver. Four to one. Four to one. The Leafs will win. Liverpool will win at home because they will not lose six in a row at home. Holy, they, they're zero and five. At, they've lost five in a row at home for the first what time is, in their history. What is happening with your team? The wheels have fallen completely off. It's Did bad. they keep the goalie that put the ball in his net? No, they got rid of him. N- okay, thank shit's God. gone sideways. It's too it's deep. Even worse though. It's too fresh. I don't want to get into it. It's not the point. <laughs> it's a deep cut. It is a deep cut. The point is, is they will not lose six home games in a row. They will beat Fulham 2-0. Not convinced. No, you can be not convinced, but this is, this prediction will have to be true. They will win 2-0. A 2-0. They will win 2-0 against Fulham or it's last in the league. For shite. Second last or something. Actually, they lose 2 nothing. Yeah, well, maybe next week we'll do CJ predicts. <laughs> and I predict that CJ will be fucking wrong about the Fulham score. <laughs> I like this. The Leafs will beat the Winnipeg Jets 5-2. to two. So I got two Ooh, Leafs wins and a Liverpool high win. High-scoring games, too. Yeah. That is my predictions. You've heard them here first. <clears throat> if this was coming out live, I would say buy a lottery ticket or a sports ticket. But and split the winnings with me. And if you lose, I will be splitting nothing. Also, I think there might be one more Liverpool game that I can predict before that. Oh, man. That's funny, dude. Sorry. One more last. Fourth prediction. Fourth prediction. By Liverpool? Liverpool. Okay. Wednesday, March 10th. Liverpool win 2-1 at home against Red Bull and advance to the quarterfinals. Against who? The Champions League. RB Leipzig. Out of Germany. Oh, okay. All right. You heard it here. Chris, Chris predicts. Chris predicts. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Is he a wizard? We don't know. He's definitely not. No, he's not. Five two. Uh, Winnipeg's kind of shit this year, aren't they? Yeah, so is Vancouver. Yeah. But the Leafs just destroyed Edmonton three games. I was going to say, didn't they just Solid. fuck up Edmonton? Yeah, and then they had a back to back against Vancouver. So you knew they were going to lose sometime. No yeah. big deal. Yeah, That's it fine. happens. I don't think they're going to lose two in a row. I don't think I kind of like these little around. like mini series though. I like them too. I'm a, I'm a big fan. Yeah. I hope uh, I hope that's something they continue. Yeah, I think we spoke about it before. Yeah, we did when I guess when it f- just before hockey started again, mm-hmm. we talked about it. So yeah, yeah Chris predicts. Good. If anyone wants to uh, add any predictions for me, write <laughs> us at uh, yeah. Write it. You can get us on Facebook. Two you season a pod. In, you can write in at CJ's Instagram. I don't, so I. Or, Not very good with Facebook, but on our Facebook thing, it says at two season of pod. So I don't know if it's like Instagram where you can like put in the at symbol. You can follow our Facebook page and I'm sure there's a way to communicate with it. So. No, but for finding it, I think if you put in the at symbol. Okay. Like the A thing. 
That's how you find two out. season a pod. You sh- it should pull us up. Okay, so you can comment on Facebook. You can email us at mail two season a pod. If there's anything you want me to predict, if you want me to predict the weather, I'm not going to do that shit. But if you want me to tell you who the next president of Venezuela will be, I can easily do that because again, Chris predicts. Chris, my predicts. predictions are often right. Chris and predicts. So this how again how this is going to work. CJ is going to next week for. Chris I'll predicts. bring him back up. He and- will bring back the ones that I predicted. He'll tell me how right or how wrong I was. Yeah. And then we will get into the next week's predictions and it'll work on as such from then on. Out. Yeah. So I will recap this week's. Yep. Tell him if he was right or wrong. He will then predict more things. And then next week you'll do the same. And thing. I'll do the same thing. And it'll just be a little thing. And it is not only gonna, it's not always going to be sports. I will think of some more things, but I was just I just figured you could do sports early and easy right off the hop. Two things. So, yeah. Cool. And even if it's like a, and I, I'm going to even get into crazy shit like. If I don't, I don't follow the Australian Football League, but maybe I'll predict one of their scores. You should. Yeah, like shit like that. Whatever yeah, the fuck. It yeah. can be anything. I, 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 could even I, spit out, I could even spit out some like stats for you. Whatever you want. Past games. Whatever you want. Wow. Well, we'll, well that's not out. predicts. That's like, do you know? Right? No, no, no. But like, no, no, no. So again, you don't know anything. Oh, about but you'll the, give me like a, a rough like, I'll overview be like, of the last, this is the last fucking, three games. Yeah. Last three games like for it. these guys. They lost. I like it. The last three games for these guys, two and one. Okay. You know, shit like that. I can do that. These guys won one one goal. Also, the lottery numbers are one, zero, eight, three, four. (laughs) 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 Oh my God. Imagine Uh, those ones came true. Imagine. That'd be wild. I didn't even know if that was enough numbers. I don't know how many numbers you need for the lottery. I have no idea. I think it's like fucking I think it's upwards of six, maybe eight. Probably five thousand. Who knows? Could be seven. Lucky number seven. Lucky number seven. seven. The number of the week. Uh, that is also my birthday. Yep. Fuck. It's on Sunday, man. That shit. I, it caught up with me. You're I thought I had another week. Nope. We're old. Yep. It's over. That's what Audrey keeps telling me. You are. Laying in bed. She's like, in two days. Or uh, I guess it would She's probably going to leave like, you for a younger on, man. Man, nah, she might. Be, Audrey? <laughs> you probably should. She doesn't listen. I don't think she listens anymore. We'll blame her. <laughs> She's sick of listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. It was too funny. So, yeah. yeah. Chris uh, predicts. I, I do want to give an update on YouTube. I th- uh, I'm i changing. I think. Ah, fuck it. You'll see us when you see us on Facebook. And I really hope this turns out. I hope my laptop dying didn't fuck with anything. But if it did, the episode will still be on YouTube. It just might, might not be recorded. Mm-hmm. I don't know how I forgot to plug in the laptop. That's like. The first thing I it's do. because you're old and you have dementia now. Yeah, you know what? I think it runs in the family. Being old? No, dementia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. All right. You good? Yeah, we're Let's out. Uh, again, Facebook, uh, at two season a pod. Uh, mail dot two season a pod at gmail.com. Uh, YouTube, two season a pod. Fucking hit that subscribe button. Hit Smash the bell. It. Hit the bell notification so you see when the next episode goes live. Uh, Right now, they are coming out uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, Till we're caught up, then they will be once a week, every Monday. They will be live on YouTube. Uh, And again, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. Everywhere you get your podcasts. Literally anywhere where you find your podcast, it'll be on here every Wednesday, 6 a.m. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you. Deuces. (laughs) 